In the late 1970s, David Cronenberg went through a very bitter divorce and a very lengthy custody battle over their daughter. He conceived the idea for the movie during the aftermath of the divorce. He eventually became aware of Kramer vs. Kramer, the novel, not the film as it wasn't released yet, and hated the optimistic depiction after a couple's separation. He wanted to create a movie that was more realistic in terms of its ideas and overall story. At this point, he started writing what would eventually become The Brood. Cronenberg later said in retrospect that this was the most classic horror film he'd ever done. This was an intriguing little flick before David Cronenberg got super famous. I think the ideas presented are very good in terms of mental illness and motherhood. While general parenthood could be perceived as the overall theme here, as Frank is our protagonist, I think motherhood specifically is more prominent, as it could be showcased that motherhood isn't exactly what the society thinks it is. Mothers are perceived as the perfect parent and the one that needs to be there for the child's entire life, while nobody cares about fathers. Here, it's shown in quite specific detail that because of past trauma, the person in question, Nola, was never fit to be a mother, yet she fights for that right purely on the grounds that she's the mother and Candace, her daughter, needs her. It's actually pretty interesting in the way it's executed. I do like the custody battle between Nola and Frank a lot, and how that is the main focus while the brood was interwoven into the story quite well even though we don't know who they are for the majority of the running time. It's got a good slow buildup, and the kills are pretty good, despite being a bit clunky. However, the death of the school teacher was incredibly fucking disturbing. I think the makeup on the brood is a bit weird looking and is a bit dated. However, the climax in regards to the confrontation between Nola and Frank has some truly amazing effects within the scene. The soundtrack by Howard Shore is once again absolutely fucking exceptional. This is a movie about mutant children, yet Shore manages to go so fucking hard and have this fantastic and bombastic score that it just elevates this movie farther than it should have been. It's pretty much Kramer vs. Kramer, but with mutant children. Ironically, the adaptation did come out the same year as well. So if you're into this sort of thing and a Cronenberg fan, I'd recommend it. It definitely has Cronenberg's fingerprints all over it, and with this movie, you definitely feel his body horror edge coming through and what he would be known for later in his career.